What is up, my intergalactic friends? Welcome back here to another intergalactic content here in Infinite Galaxy. Now, as you guys can see, in Infinite Galaxy, we have this new event that allows you to obtain the crew members. So you can actually obtain Cloud Raid data card. And if you go into the next rounds in here, you're also going to be able to get um, ghost data card. So apparently there is some tier system in here. Uh, we go into uh, where was that? Oh, we go into the reward preview here. Um, in Pyramid One, you can get ten of the Cloud Read data card. To I guess you move your way up in here. For Pyramid Two, you get ghost. In Pyramid Three, you can get ten outfitting gear blueprint. But you're also going to be able to get some ghost and Cloud Read data card as well. Um, we're going to try to buy 30 of these and let's try to play this event. All right. So we've made some purchase in here. Uh, $10 for 30. Let's see if it's worth it in here. Um, I wonder how many times you can buy this. I guess you can buy this how many times you want it to be. Wow. Okay. So we have 30 right now. We have one. Uh, 31 actually. So do I just click this? Nope. I have to click. I have to click here. All right. So that unlocks one. So it's a chance base. So now I have to do use three. Huh. Interesting. Wait, no way. Wait, that costs three? Just to open that up? Wow. Wow. Um wow. All right, let's do five. I don't know if it's worth it. Now it's getting what? The cost is getting higher. Um, they should have just done this by ones. This is a little bit too much. Um, I think I'll be out soon. I'm not even gonna get the cloud read data card in here. All right, where do we land in here? All right, citation device. Um, I'm not sure if this event is worth it. I feel like it's too expensive. Now I cannot go, right? I cannot do it again anymore. And the chance is very low. The probability is very low. I mean, you have to spend a lot to get the cloud read data card. And there's no ways for you to earn this. Uh, let's see. Use 150 orange flagship blueprints. Use 10 orange crew data cards. Um, 30 orange crew data cards. 50 orange data cards. Crew crew 30 times okay there's a ways for you to get this so let's do this um let's recruit and let's recruit here all right and all right, let's take a look in what is the uh, task that we need to do that's that's a little bit too too difficult to gain all right let's get this i think we need to recruit like 30 and then we'll do uh spending of corium as well and as well as use 50 orange flagship in here and crew data cards. So there's a few things that I can really do. Um, let's recruit first, one more, and then another one. And I can actually upgrade one of my, you know, um, crew in here. And I can also upgrade the flagship as well. So let's see. All right. Let's see if I can get 11. Okay, I have 11 now. Is it even worth it? Oh my God, really? We're not even, wow, the probability is so low on getting this. Um, okay, so what's next? 13? That's crazy. Like, this will be like, if I do this, it'll be like six, seven, eight, I guess, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I need to do all that. Wow. I guess I can do another set in here, but I feel like to really get Cloud Read data card, I mean, you have to spend a little bit more. I mean, the mission itself is not even enough to get this. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how worth it this is to do. I mean, if you're really a big spender and you really want to get Cloud Read data card, I mean, that's the only way, I guess, for now to get it. I don't remember if it's in the crew summoning in here. Uh, let's see. 
I don't think it's in here, right? So that's the only way. So it, I guess it, at the end of the day, it depends on what you're willing to spend in the game to obtain that crew. So that's really pretty much your own discretion in here. In my opinion, I feel like the event is a little bit difficult. Um, the event is a little bit uh, kind of hard to obtain you know, the ghost data cards. Um, I'd say this is pretty good, the chip encasing chest. So I'll go into the carrier in here. Let's open that bad boy up. All right, we have five. All right, let's open that up. These are worth it to get. I would say that's one of the good ones that we can have. Um, is that even the right one that I get? Yep, chip encasing level two. All right, so now we go to depot and where there's nothing to merge in here, nothing to fuse. Unfortunately, there's nothing to fuse. All right. So there's nothing to fuse. This is my pretty much my device system right now. Yeah, I don't feel that this thing is super worth it to, I mean, to spend on. Um, yeah, I would say if I spend under 10 bucks, then, it, you know, I could probably try to get the other rewards in here. But the thing that kind of throws me off is this thing. It increases its, its each, um, you know, its each cost for only one opening. They should have probably have done a lot more like chances to get for like resources or stuff in here. And it should only have cost one of these shards, in my opinion. I feel like it's a little bit too much. But let me know what you guys actually think if it's too much or not. Because this is just only my opinion. I could be completely be wrong. But anyway, my Galactic friends, thank you guys for watching. This is the new event, Monolith Pyramid, for you to get some crew data cards in here and other extra rewards. I mean, when you do spend money in here, um, you are going to be able to get some bonus rewards as well. So keep that in mind. So that could be the worth it side of it. But for the, you know, moderate spenders, it could be a little bit too much in my opinion. So I hope they would adjust this event to be a little bit more rewarding. And maybe you can um, earn this through like defeating pirates or um, you know, buying it through a Corium or something like that. I think it would be great if there is a chance to obtain this from de defeating pirates or um, other activities, and then you can just stack it up, and then eventually you'll have a good stack to open. You know, good for free to play and some of the moderate spenders as well. Anyway, my intergalactic friends, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget to hit sub and like, and I appreciate it.